Hey everyone, this is the LG Watch W7. It's running the latest redesigned Wear OS from Google. And the key feature here is that it has mechanical watch hands layered over a digital touchscreen. It's running a quartz movement. You can see there's three buttons on the right side, and that's the redesigned Wear OS notification system. You can actually use the rotating crown to scroll through the Wear OS user interface. That's the redesigned Google Fit on the right, and on the left is Google Assistant and all the other personal information that it pulls from your email, such as flight tracking and when you're getting your next parcel. The top button is used to hide the mechanical watch hand so that when you're scrolling through and if the mechanical watch hands are blocking your view, you can press that top button to sort of put them at the nine and three positions to hide them. And the bottom button is gives you access to LG's master tools. Master Tools has things like an altimeter, a compass, a barometer, and a timer. And again, this mechanical watch hands run on the quartz movement, but what's neat is that the hands are used as the primary interface for these tools. So if you run a stopwatch, for example, uh, when you press the start button, it's the mechanical hands that suddenly move and switch over and start that timer. And you can resume it, and as soon as you sort of go back to that default watch screen, you go back to the actual time. The middle button can launch the app door, and you can see the layout is a little different here than before. It's, uh, the image app icons are much bigger and easier to tap on. The key feature on this watch, other than the mechanical watch hands, is the battery life. LG says it can last two days despite running the older Wear 2100 processor. But there's also an analog mode that keeps it alive for three to four days. And even better, there's a watch only mode that turns off Wear OS completely so you can use the mechanical watch hands for 100 days before it dies. We'll have to definitely test these claims as we're a bit skeptical considering we haven't seen that good battery life with Wear 2100 processor watches. There's no NFC, no heart rate monitor, and no GPS. Also, this watch costs $450. It's pricey, and you're not getting a ton of features, but LG is positioning this more as a casual smartwatch for people who just want notifications, something that looks nice and can last a while. The 22 millimeter strap feels nice, and it's silicon, and it's interchangeable. The design overall feels pretty masculine, and it's absolutely big at 44.5 millimeter case. But the 1.2 inch LCD screen has a 360 by 360 resolution that's still sharp and readable. The watch goes on sale on October 14th, but pre-orders start at Best Buy on October 7th.